everyone as of now we know all about evive our all in one electronics prototyping device and picto blocks a graphical programming software based on scratch blocks in this video we are going to take a look at dabble a versatile project making app the dedicated blocks for dabble in picto blocks using which we can make it interact with our projects and how to use it with two modes upload and stage mode by carrying out two activities one for each mode Let's begin with Dabble. Dabble is a smart and versatile project making app that replaces a wide variety of electronic components and exploits the inbuilt features and sensors of your smartphone like the GPS, mic and accelerometer, thus transforming it into infinite virtual shields and more. I hope you have Dabble on your smartphone. If not, install it by going to the links given in the description box. Let's have a look at the Dabble palette in Pictoblocks. First, open Pictoblocks. Then connect Evive to your computer via a USB cable. Next, click on the board button in the toolbar and select its name from the drop-down menu. Next, click on the connect button and select the appropriate serial port. Now connect the HC05 Bluetooth module to Evive by placing it in the headers provided. It will let us control our board using our smartphone via Bluetooth. Now, Open the Dabble palette. You will find dedicated blocks for each of the Dabble's module. Let's first create a script for controlling Toby's movement using the Dabble's gamepad module in the stage mode. For that, the first step is to upload the firmware to Evive. Therefore, click on the Upload Firmware button. Once the upload is complete, Evive's logo will appear on its screen. Now let's continue with the script. Toby should move right upon pressing right on the gamepad and left on pressing left. First, let's add blocks to make Toby move right. Drag and drop an if block into the scripting area to check if the right has been pressed. Then, drag and drop the is up pressed on gamepad block inside the hexagonal space of the if block and select right from the drop down menu. Next, drag and drop move steps block below the if arm. Now, duplicate the entire set of blocks and stack them together. Then, select left from the drop down menu of the second gamepad block and enter minus 10 in the second move steps block. This will make Toby move left whenever left is pressed on the gamepad. Add a forever block for running the script continuously. Since we are working in the stage mode, we are going to use the when flag clicked hat block. With this, our script is complete. Now let's pair Dabble with Evive. Open the app. The first few screens give a brief about how you can work with Dabble. Next, click on the connect icon. A dialog box will appear on the screen asking for permission to turn on Bluetooth. Click on allow. Once you do so, a list of nearby devices will appear. Select your device's name. Once your smartphone is paired with Evive, open the gamepad module and you are ready to go. Maximize the stage and then click on the green flag to run the script. You can make fun games and animations like this space battle and play them in the stage mode using Dabble. Before moving on to the next script, save this project, enter the name you want to give your project in the project naming section over here and then click on save. Save your project at a location of your choice. After saving your project, click on the file button and select new. Now let's create a script in the upload mode for controlling the DC motor connected to Evive by sending the commands to Evive via Dabble's terminal module. Switch to the upload mode by toggling the mode button present right above the stage. You'll observe that the stage is replaced by the editor window. We are going to send textual commands to Evive using Dabble's terminal module to control the motor. Attach a wheel to the motor shaft and connect the assembly to Evive's motor channel M1. Now let's move on to the script. 
First, we are going to check if the command given at the terminal is for starting the motor. So, drag and drop an if block into the scripting area. Then, drag and drop the is data from terminal block inside the hexagonal space of the if block and write start in the white space. Next, drag and drop the run motor block. Select the motor channel to which the motor is connected from the first drop down, the direction in which you want to rotate in the second and the percentage speed at which you want the motor to rotate from the third. Now duplicate the entire set of blocks for stopping the motor and stack them together. Then write stop in the second is data from terminal block and remove the run motor block. In place of it, drag and drop the free block and select lock from the first drop down and the channel that is 1 from the second drop down. Add a forever block to the script for running it continuously. Finally, drag and drop the when evive starts up hat block. With this, our script is complete. Now let's upload it to evive. For that, click on the upload code button. Once the upload is complete, disconnect evive from the computer. Now open double and click on the connect button. Once paired with evive, open the terminal module. Now type start. In doing so, the motor will start rotating and on typing stop, it will stop. You can also use voice commands for controlling the motor. In this video, we explored two out of the many amazing modules of Double. To know more about the rest, check out our tutorials and projects by going to the links given in the description box. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and subscribe to STEMpedia for more of such educational content. Bye-bye and happy tinkering!